How's it going everybody? This is Cloud Knight from Nightville Entertainment here and this is episode 15. Now this is a special episode for me because 15 is my favorite number so I kind of want to do something a little special and a little unique um, and I want to go over mapping. Now I know I've heard people wanting to do maps and it was a requested tutorial so for mapping themselves we're going to go over it and for a little fun I'm going to do dungeon RPG mapping. It sounds it sounds crazy but honestly it is going to be fun and it's going to be interesting. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the import resource manager and I'm going to need to upload some um, pictures. So I'm going to import. Okay, I need to go to the desktop because I got one, two, three, four. I got to upload those four pictures. So the reason why I want those pictures is because they're arrows and we're going to use them for the mapping. Now, this is just going to be a basic bare minimum video of mapping, but it's going to help you guys and you'll learn a little bit of something. So the first thing I want to do is create a new scene. And in this new scene, I'm going to call it um, D1 for like Dungeon 1. I'm going to create another new scene and I'm going to call this D2. And then I'm going to, you know, just a bunch of new scenes. New scene, D3, for the each arrow. So we got one, two, three, and you're going to have, I'm going to have four. So D1, two, three, and four. So we got D1, two, three, four. So the first thing we're going to do is create a background. So I'm going to do change background. Uh, let me save this. For some reason, uh, my live preview keeps messing up on me. Let's see. Live preview restart. Okay, well maybe if I close the project and reopen it for YouTube, maybe this will work. Okay, there we go. I see the live preview now. For some reason I just have to I have to do that. So we're gonna change the background here for D1. I wanna look for something like a little dungeony. There's gotta be something in here that we can use. Dungeon. I need something dungeony. Something, nothing like that. No. Um. I don't know. Do we have any dungeons? Dungeon type. Oh, that looks a little dark. I think we do. Oh, you know what? We do. It's in the fantasy pack, I believe. So we're gonna go into. Uh, I think it's backgrounds. Uh, we're gonna import. Uh, we're gonna go. Well, let me check the DLC. I don't know if I do have any. I hope I do. Otherwise, let's see fantasy. Yes, we got dungeons. Okay, I have to upload the fantasy ones. All right, cool, cool. Okay, so we're gonna go to import backgrounds. We're gonna import. Uh, I gotta. Oh my goodness, really? I gotta go through all this. Okay, uh, computers. What is it? Program files. Oh, man, you guys have to see everything. Uh, Steam apps. Where are you? Wait, I think I got a better idea what I can do. Copy, import, paste. There we go. Check that out. That's all you gotta do, guys. If you're looking for things, it's copy and paste. All right. Uh, backgrounds, fantasy, fan. There we go. So I'm gonna want to import the womb. We'll do this. Oh, man, there's so many good ones. Um, we'll do. We'll just do one, two. Okay, we'll do. Oh, man, we'll get one. I don't know which ones I want to do. Okay, one, two, three, four, I guess. We'll just do those four for the each arrows. Okay, so we have the our fantasy dungeon looking things, I guess. <laughs> three of them are the same. So I'm going to first do the morning. So first we have the morning. And then in this one, we're just going to do change background. And then this one's going to be uh, night. No, that's going to be that. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do the night. There we go. And then in D3, another change background. There we go. And let's going to do uh, night. So we should have, let's see, we got garden night, road morning, road night, and then change background for the last one, which was uh, sunset. They're all the same roads, but whatever. It's just for the tutorial purposes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're gonna do um, show picture. We're gonna do it three more times. That's one, two, three, show picture. Okay, so now we have our show picture and the pictures that I'm gonna put up are the, the sprite ones. 
So there we go. So now we're going to do it. And also we're going to give it a direct. And we're going to drag it to the way I want to go. So I want to go right. And then you're just going to keep on. You're going to just keep on doing that with all the arrows. Okay. Direct. This takes a little while, guys. Put that down. Uh, did I just move the wrong one? I hope not. Oh, no. No, that's right. This should be down. What? I picked the wrong... Okay, that's 34200, that's 35200. What's going on here? Maybe maybe if I save it. Or did I move the wrong one? I think I moved the wrong one. No, it shows the down. Okay. You're supposed to be here. You're the down. And you're that way. Okay. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, I get it. This would be uh one. This would be two. Sorry, a <laughs> new mistake. Make sure you don't do what I do. Make sure you label the different ones for the layers one, two, three, and four. I was like, what's going on? I'm freaking out. I'm like, I'm going to be looking stupid in my own tutorial. Okay, I'm going to do the up. Oh, that one's a big up. I don't know why it's so big, but you can fix all this in uh, Photoshop and ECT. But just for tutorial purposes, we're just going to go with, with go with the flow here. Um, it's so big. It looks so stupid. <laughs> oh, well. It's gonna work for now, I guess. Uh, and then left. <laughs> oh my goodness, these are giant. These are humongous. Okay, put that over that way. Why is there two? I don't know. I don't understand what's going on. There we go. So we got. <laughs> that looks so busted. But <laughs> what are you gonna do, right? I mean, fix it in Photoshop, I guess. So what we're gonna want to do now is we're gonna want to add hotspots. So add hotspot. And we're going to want to do four hotspots. So add hotspot, add hotspot, add hotspot, add hotspot. So that is one, two, three, four. Again, label them as layers. So one, two, three, and four. And then, you know, you can do pixel or rectangle, but me, I'm just going to do that and I'm going to direct it. So the first hotspot is going to be the top. We're going to make sure we cover the whole icon. There we go. So that's top. And then we're going to want to do the next hotspot, which would be the right. I need to see the, where it is at the hotspot. Should be over here. Okay. And then the next one should be, uh, oh, see, now I can see it. I don't know why I couldn't see the other one here. And then the next one again, I don't, don't know why I can't see this one over here. This one, I know this one's huge, so it's going to make it big. I don't know if it's that big, but that should work. Okay. So we have our hotspots. Now, when you click it, it's asking you, where's it going to? So it's like, well, where am I going to when you click that hotspot? So we're going to go call scene and then you're going to change it to, uh, the scene of whatever it is so if we go let's see what's that up if we go up we're going to d2 if we go uh, I think that's right we're gonna go to d3 if we go uh, down no is that down I think it's down I'm so confused but we're gonna find out we're gonna go to d4 and uh, that should be it. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. And then left will just take us back to uh, take us back to uh, the same thing, the same scene, I guess. And then we'll just go back to D1. Don't ask me why. It's just for now. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is make the um, D1 the intro scene. So now that we have all this set, we're going to just do a show message. And then I'm just going to do here, welcome to the evil, welcome to the cute maze dungeon. I don't know guys, this is just me having fun. Welcome to the cute maze dungeon, do another show message, whoops, get out of that, show message, and under it I'm just going to say choose your path wisely, choose your path wisely. And then so what's going to happen is all that's going to pop up and then there you go. I'm just going to give it a save. 
give it a, I'm gonna save it we're gonna load it up as the intro scene give it a play just do a quick play test make sure everything's running properly the arrows look so ugly so sorry guys I didn't Photoshop resize them. Okay, here we go. Game test. Welcome to the Cute Maze Dungeon. Choose your path wisely. So now when I click it, it gets to the dark, gets to the light, gets to the evil, and it gets back to the beginning, which repeats the same cycle of the quest. And that is how you do RPG mapping, guys. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. All things visual novel tutorials. It was a little fun video. I know I need to get back into the basics before we get into the complicated stuff. But I know you guys wanted a little taste of something. And I really wanted to do it because 15 is my favorite number. So I hopefully that is something to give you guys a little taste of what's going to come in the future of tutorials. But we're going to get back into the other things. I do have a request that I'm going to fill today too. So I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless and peace.